Hey friends, it's Kimberly from StampinByTheSea.com and today I'm going to show you just a very quick trick but I think it's one that you'll like and especially if you like that antique look. Um, uh, really it's like a pantina I think is what they call it and it's gonna this background right here is what I want to show you and it's hard to show oh, there you go you can see a little bit of that gold and there's some green back there so let me show you how I did it because it's so simple it's it's crazy so I just have a piece of whisper white uh, cardstock and I have a Sahara sand uh, ink pad and I probably want to clean this off first. I'm just using a baby wipe to clean the block. This is honestly the cleanest my blocks have ever been, so I should probably do this technique more often. I'm just going to take a D block, and really any block will do. And I'm going to ink it up with Sahara sand. And then I'm just going to, right in the center here, just give it a nice press. So that's kind of the base. And it's not going to be perfect, and that's what you want. You don't need perfection here, which is kind of nice, huh? And then I'm going to clean that block again and then take pistachio pudding ink and I'm just going to ink that up. This ink pad is so juicy. And I'm going to go directly over that again. Now it's good that it's nice and juicy because then I'm going to take some embossing powder, gold, and I'm just going to go right over that and I'm going to give it a nice little tick tick tip because I don't want it all full of embossing powder. So the more I can flick it, the better it's, it's gonna be. And now we're just gonna heat her up. Let's heat her up. All right, there you go. Now, as you can see, you can see a little bit of that gold. And really, I think even less gold uh, would be better, but uh, you, know, you don't have much time in between that uh, dye ink. Uh, drying. So let me come back to the card and you'll see once I uh, had that heated and it was all embossed I just simply cut trimmed with my scissors around the block and to finish this card off you can see it's a whisper white cardstock and then I did a little bit of embossing I literally uh, t uh, texture embossing put this inside my texture embossing folder and went in just a wee bit and came right back out. Now under here, you can see I have a little bit of gold foil paper. I love that stuff. And then this is the new celebration vellum with the butterflies. And I love that you can see the gold through. And because I just had gold thread in my sewing machine, I decided to just give it a little zigzag stitch right there. And to complete it, I took a doily and inked it up in Sahara sand and then I just inked around the edges with a little bit of um, Versamark and then dipped it into some gold and embossed that. Right here you can see a little Sahara sand on those ferns. Happy birthday is um, gold embossed and then the last thing I did was a little bit of, I uh, wanted to add a little bit more color pop to it. So I did a uh, coastal cabana and used my thinlet to uh, die cut that out. And there you have it friends. That's my card. All right. I hope you enjoy. Thank you again. And you can visit me at www.stampinbythesea.com.